There's only a few months left of this year, so let's make it count. There's so much you can achieve in only a few months if you plan it and you have a structure. And there's no better time to reset for the rest of the year than now. Autumn is literally the best time of the year to set plans, goals and all of those things for the rest of the year. Autumn is like the time of the new beginnings after relaxing summer. I love this time of the year so much because this is like a mid-stop to check what have you already achieved during this year and what is still left to do and what is maybe not working for you. When fall season is just starting, I just love reorganize and plan everything for the rest of the year. Maybe because I'm a Virgo, maybe that has something to do with it. But anyways, this is the time to reset for the rest of the year and not let the rest of the year to get wasted. Autumn is also back to school, back to work time. So there's literally no better time to do this than now. Yee, I'm so excited about this because this is literally my, like, this is my favorite thing to do. I was going to do my autumn reset and then I realized, hey, come on, I can do a video about this and I want to do this together. So let's do it together. And this video is super practical. So if you want, you can just do this right away with me. Obviously you will need to have a little bit more time, especially in the self-reflection part. Otherwise, like you can literally do this with me right now during this video. So maybe grab a pen and paper when it comes to self-reflection and writing everything down. I really like to do it with a pen on a paper because then you really have the connection with your brain, the hand and brain connection. Everything you write makes more sense instead of if you're writing it just on a laptop. When you're just typing on a laptop, you don't have the connection with your brain and, ar and hands, arm. When you write with a hand, physically, you have the connection with your brain, so it just sticks with you more. Let's do it. So what I like to do when it comes to this autumn reset is I like to set a comprehensive plan for the rest of the year to not let it get wasted and spend it intentionally instead. And this autumn reset mainly consists of like three parts broadly obviously it's more detailed than that but broadly first is self-reflection second is setting goals and the third is like external work like more like with appearance first part is self-reflection and here i just like to journal and reflect on myself on how has this year been so far have i already perhaps achieved something am i further than i expected myself to be did everything go according to my plans is there something that is not working out why could it be that it's not working out is there something that i'm doing and the feeling is just off and i should maybe stop doing it and this is the part that might take a little longer and doesn't really have a structure in it after you've reflect self-reflected on how has this year been going i would like you to reflect on what kind of goals and aspirations you still have for the rest of this year what is it that you would like would like to still achieve what are your goals and aspirations things you want to do your dreams and like habits for example that you want to work on when you're journaling just let that all come out and we're gonna use it a little bit later in the goal setting part and second part of self-reflection is creating a wheel of life and this is also something you're going to use for goal setting for the rest of the year. Wheel of life consists of different sections of your life and the purpose of wheel of life is to figure out where things are going good and where things are going not so good, in which section of your life you're just completely fulfilled and which section of your life you're not fulfilled. And when everything in the wheel of life is fulfilling, then you're you're truly fulfilled person in life. And why it's good to do this is because it literally gives you an answer on which things you should focus for the rest of the year to feel happy and fulfilled and feel that you have purpose. Let's just draw it out together. So the Wheel of Life consists of sections as career, finances, education and knowledge, spiritual life and self-development, hobbies, social life, health and physical and mental. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to rate it from 1 to 10. And what I like to do is I like to just for the sake of easiness, to just give it a number but there are so many ways you can do this some people like to put it in dots some people like to just fill in the section but for the sake of easiness i just like to give it a number i'm just going to present you an example when i'm doing this physically myself i do it with a pen and paper but since i'm presenting you an example i really need to do it on a laptop because my handwriting 
it, it's a disaster. Everyone jokes it's like a doctor's prescription, you know, when a doctor is prescribing you some medicine and then you are reading it and you're like, how can someone even read it? And then the pharmacist or the pharmacy is like, I understand it. <laughs> and then you're like, what? how can anyone understand that? That's my handwriting. So I am going to save you from the pain of trying to understand what have I have written there. So instead I'm doing it on a laptop to present you a good example. So for example, for held and physical, I would give, I think, eight, because I'm not completely happy with the amount of exercise I do a week. And then for hobbies, I would give six because I'm missing a lot of structure and like weekly classes for example in dancing. For career I will give eight because I'm really happy of what I'm doing but obviously I'm not there where I want to be yet. And for education I will give a nine because I'm really really content with the amount of knowledge and education I get in currently but there's, there can always be more. No, but there's, for example, a language I want to learn and I just can't get it started. And my, in my social life, it's a 10. I'm really happy with my social life currently. And with finances, it's like, well, it's also like an 8. And spiritual and self-development, I'm also really, really happy with. So that will be a 10. So clearly, based on this, I do not need to put any effort to social life. Obviously, you need to be a good friend. But, like, I don't lack there. And spiritual and self-development is also something I just... I don't need to put too much energy or focus in there. Whereas, uh, for example, with... Well, clearly, I lack some hobbies. So, in hobbies, I need to put some more effort and then so on. But about this, we're gonna talk very soon a little more. In general, when I'm doing, like, a reset, I like to answer to these questions. What? Why? And how? The what is answering you what part of your life is not going well. The why is answering why is it not going well. And the how will answer how can you make a change. And now basically with this wheel of life we have answered the question what? Right? So now it's time to set some goals. So by now you probably have these three main things. You have this uh, self-reflection part where you had to self-reflect on letting go of things and see where, what things are going super good now. Then you needed to journal about your goals, aspirations, dreams and these things for the, this year still. And then you had to do this wheel of life. So you have three sources that you're going to use for this goal setting part. And now I would like you to watch this wheel of life that you have created for yourself. And based on that, ask yourself what is the biggest goal for this rest of the year? The reason why I recommend picking one big goal, obviously you can also have smaller goals in addition to it that are easier for you to execute, but why I recommend you having like just one big goal for the rest of the year is because, well, we don't have so much of this year left anymore. And in order to maintain sanity and not lose your mind and just be stress-free and enjoy your life, I recommend focusing on one goal so you for sure achieve it instead of focusing on many big goals and then achieving nothing. So ask yourself, what is one big goal based on this life audit that I just did for myself? Life audit, I mean wheel of life that I want to focus on for the rest of this year. And then when, once you've defined for yourself one big goal, you can also create for yourself smaller goals that you can still like realistically achieve during this year. Once you've defined for yourself this one big goal and then also the smaller goals that are still achievable with this big goal, then you need to create an action plan. So now you will answer the how question. So now we have answered the why questions. Before you're going to set any goals, if some of your part in the life audit is super down, you need to ask yourself, okay, why do I feel about it like this? Why is it down? So once you have defined it for yourself, that why is it that you feel like that about it, then you need to ask yourself, how can you make a change? And then based on this, you're going to define for yourself this one big goal and then smaller goals around it. It doesn't need to be straightly related to your one big goal. It can also be something else in the 
other parts of your life but just the main thing is that it's realistically achievable in still this short period of time that's left for this year then when you've defined those things you need to create an action plan and the action plan is literally how are you going to do what you want to do if you want to start a hobby and you want to do it weekly how are you going to do it technically this action plan is already created during the time when you were journaling in the first part in the self-reflection part where we were answering on the what why and how so this is the how part literally how can you make a change in what you're feeling down about so that is then really structured and it's easier to do those things and easier to achieve and easier to not let this rest of the year still get wasted and if you're still struggling with setting goals i have some extra help for you but if you're someone who already has it everything clear for yourself you can skip this part but if you want to hear this of course keep watching so extra help is literally take every part of your life and you're gonna ask yourself some questions so let's start with finances am i happy with my finances currently yes no if it's a no why not and then ask yourself how can i make a change then if you're happy with your finances and it's not something extra to complain about you can ask yourself do i need to budget my rest of the year do i need to plan something for holidays and do i need to plan gifts for christmas for example do i need to put away money monthly for example for these gifts or for a holiday season if i do how much and how am i planning to do it is it weekly monthly or just at one time which i do not recommend but anyhow this is not a finance lesson and then maybe last question to help you with is do you have some financial goals for the rest of this year still so that's with finances all of these next questions will be related to the parts such as career, hobbies, health and physical, social life, education and mental, and self-development and spirituality. This is now something you need to really ask yourself. Is there something new I'd like to try still during this year? For example, that could be trying pottery. Do you want to maybe start a new hobby? For example, start taking ballet classes. I don't know. Anyhow, autumn is the perfect time to do it. Autumn is literally the best time to start something new in your life, whether it's a hobby or something else. Then, is there something I want to learn? Maybe a new language or a new skill that will take you further in your career? Is there something that I've wanted to do already for a super long time, but I haven't done it for some reason? Do you hear the frustration in my voice? Because I have this a lot. Do I lack something in my life? If yes, what? And how can I change it? Is there something I would like to change regarding my health? For example, start exercising three times a week or start eating healthier or lose weight or whatever that might be. Is there some habits I would want to implement or change in my life? So these were the questions that were supposed to help you with the goal setting to make it better, clear and defined. To give you a practical example, I will give you mine how have I done this? So for example, the one big thing that I want to focus on is related to career and it's related to YouTube, of course. I want to reach 1000 subscribers by the end of this year and obviously the work it requires is quite a lot. So that's why it's the biggest goal for my rest of the year. And then my other goals, smaller goals, I still have few regarding career part, but it doesn't require so much time for me because the rest of this year is still planned to be just testing phase. And then the rest time that I still have dedicated to like professional life I will use on other social media platforms and that is really just like when I can because the main goal for me is obviously YouTube and then hobby wise I'd like to try pottery because that's been on my mind like so long and regarding learning I want to start learning a new language for example I need to learn a Dutch language so maybe that could be something I should start now I would also like to learn French but I feel like that's a lifetime to learn to speak French if you're not a native speaker. So this is a little insight into my goal setting and planning for the rest of the year. And obviously yours will look very different because you are a different person and you need to tailor this according to your needs and aspirations. This is just an example. So now we've covered the inner work, the goal setting, and now we still have the external work left, which is more like appearance related. And of course, this might be something that is not interesting for everyone 
everyone and that's why it's also important that from this video you take for yourself only those things that you feel like you're resonating with but if you do care a little bit of your external part of your human body as well let's move on so autumn as i already mentioned is like the best time for resetting of everything so obviously this is also the best time to pamper yourself a bit and put yourself in check after summer relaxing summer so you're really going like well put together back to office or school for example so you're not only in check from the inside so but you're also in check from the outside first thing i always do is i get a haircut for example my banks now they really need a haircut but they obviously need a haircut every month and then cutting the split ends away maybe coloring your hair if you're someone who colors their hair maybe this is the time to do it again maybe try a new haircut or something but this is just so nice because it gives you such a nice feeling and obviously it's an it's a nice feeling in a new hair in a well put together hair right this next thing is to someone, especially if you're struggling with skin problems, acne, impurities, go to skin specialists, get a facial, treat yourself a little bit, maybe recheck your skincare routine, is everything working? Obviously, if you have a super good skincare routine, by no means don't change it because what works it works then something i also do during this autumn reset and this is probably my favorite 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 part is cleaning your closet for autumn and this is literally just taking away your summer clothes and putting your fall winter clothes back into the closet even though it's also sad but it's also fun because fall fashion is like the best fashion right but it's sad because summer is ending <laughs> And the reason why I like to do this is because it just keeps you so organized when you just have your summer clothes away because summer is in the summer, now we have fall and then you have your fall clothes in your closet only so you don't have like a big mess there, you just have everything organized okay this is so weird go speaking now right and then i also maybe go through them and be like okay is there something broken is there something i no longer use and i can give away or sell or something but by the way never throw away your clothes never ever ever throw away your clothes because if they go to trash bin they go on the landfills and you know the waste problem on the landfills is is awful and then i also check whether i need to buy something new maybe shoes because shoes tend to break so often so maybe i need to buy new shoes or maybe there is something i want to add into my closet buy something new and maybe i want to add some trends or maybe i need to buy something to complement my fall wardrobe and then i also like to plan go to looks for fall for autumn for the reason being that i don't want to have these days when i like maybe i'm feeling bad i just want to have everything like organized again i just want to have those go-to looks so i don't need to think or stress about anything and i just know that this looks good i feel good in it it looks stylish well put together and i just go so i don't waste time on having this outfit crisis for example and this is it this is the full guide to autumn reset and this really this is like the best thing of the year <laughs> by no means you need to do everything i mentioned in this video just pick what resonates the most with you but this is just what i do like literally i do everything because i'm a fan <laughs> i'm a fan of resets especially in autumn please tell me do you also have this and now that you've watched this video on autumn reset i'm sure this video on how to be the best version of yourself will also complement your rest of the year like 100 percent. so also watch that video so your year will be fabulous okay bye